Hey, this is Joe Martin with Huntsville Adventure Bootcamp, back with our series we're doing about your first two weeks of exercise, what to expect, how to get the best results, keep you moving, avoid all those pitfalls that make people quit in their first two weeks. Uh, we, first, we talked about finding your deep why, your motivation, that'll be the most important one right there. Check that one out if you haven't seen it. In video two, we talked about getting your plan together so you can avoid injury, get the best results possible, and keep you moving. Uh, today, so obviously you've been successful, you found your motivation, you got the working out done, now you're really sore. This is where a lot of people give up. It's not much fun being sore. So there's ways you can do it. Uh, number one, you don't want to overdo it. Uh, but if you do, sometimes, hey, your first two weeks, you had an exercise in a while, you're going to be sore. So how do we work through that? Number one, the first thing you want to do is keep moving. I know that what you, you want to sit there and say, oh man, I'm sore. I don't want to move today. You got to keep moving, get that blood flow going, get up, walk around a little bit, do some cardio exercise, ride a bike, go walking, something like that. Maybe it's for a swim, stretch a little bit, but don't sit down all day. If, you, if you've ever worked out and you got on a flight or a long car trip, you know it's miserable when you get there. So you make sure you keep moving. All right, number two, you want to drink more water. When you're dehydrated, it makes the soreness that much worse. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. By the way, that's a fitness coach's answer to everything. Hey, just drink water. Yeah, I worked with a guy that one time his advice for everything was drink water and walk slow. So maybe that's what you should do. All right, number three, take a recovery shower. Maybe you've tried these before, maybe you haven't. So you do 60 seconds of hot water followed by 60 seconds of really cold water and keep going about four rounds of each of those. If you want to build up, you can do 30 seconds of each of those, but it's going to constrict and dilate your blood vessels, help you kind of flush that out of your system. Give that one a try. It's pretty awesome. The cold water is not that much fun. I'm not going to lie to you, but it does help. And if you're not into that, you could also alternate 15 minutes on your sorest muscles with an ice pack and a heat pack going back and forth, kind of that same thing. Uh, Epsom salt bath. People swear by them. I don't really fit in bathtubs very well, so I don't take these very often, but I've taken a few of them and they really do work. Give you a sprinkler in the bottle there, take you a nice long bath, really helps with those sore muscles. Next one, you could try a Dixie cup massage. You know the little Dixie cups? Everyone used to drink water out of it in the bathroom. I don't know, they're not around as much as they used to, but those little shot glass looking cups, freeze a few of those, put them in there. When you got sore muscles, you can rub them on your sore muscles, kind of peel the cup away as you go. Feels really good on those sore muscles. A little bit of a mess. Uh, obviously, ice melts, so just prepare for that. All right, the next one, foam rolling. People call it the poor man sports massage. You can get in there and kind of work through those muscles, uh, roll in your sores there, kind of pick, find those trigger points and work your way through those. It can really help get some, rid of some of that soreness. And then kind of a bonus tip is make sure you're getting enough protein. If you're not eating much protein, you're starting, especially if you're doing strength training, you need to add a little bit more protein in there. It's gonna help you repair those muscles. Uh, so that's just a few ways to help work through those soreness. You don't have to do every one of them. Pick out maybe one or two, go with those. But the most important one is to keep moving. But the other ones are kind of bonus ones, help you work your way through. The main thing is you want to do something to help you get through those sore muscles, keep yourself motivated, keep yourself moving. But give those a try. Uh, leave me a comment down here if you know some more activities that work for you to help get rid of those sore muscles. Or if you've done one of those, one of these on the list and they've helped. So we'll be back next uh, maybe tomorrow. We'll see what the schedule looks like. We got a few more videos left in your two-week series, so appreciate you tuning in. See you on the next one.